And welcome back from the break. Yeah, my colleague, Kabna Nkuma Spike is here. And we're going to do some tech talk. And today, what are we talking about? So, yesterday on Geek Squad, the tech show on Joy FM, we talked about how people can track the lost or stolen phones. It's a, it's a huge concern. Yeah. We love our devices. We like to keep them close to us. It's so heartbreaking when you lose it. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you a few tips on how to track your phone when you lose it. If you're using an Android phone, open your browser and then type Find My Mobile. So I type Find My Mobile, and it goes straight into a Google search. The first result you get is actually a way to track your phone. So you see that for your security, sign in again to get your phone's location. I'll just go straight to that tab, which is here. Now, this is the phone that I'm tracking, the phone I'm holding. On the right, you get a map that's showing you the exact location of your phone. And then on the left, you get some options. So you see the phone. If you have more than one phone, you have them here. On, the, on the, the first tab, I have my actual phone that I'm holding. On the second one, I have my other phone, and it's also giving me the network. So you get to see the, the location. You get to see what network it is running, the battery percentage for each phone. And under that, you see play sound. Now, when you tap on play sound, it will let the device ring for five minutes, even if the phone is set to silent. And under that, you get secure device. Secure device allows you to lock your device and sign out of your Google account. You can also display a message or a phone number on a lock screen so you can search for the phone. What happens is that it allows you to locate the device even after it's locked. And then finally, if you look for the phone, you've tried to find it and you're not getting it, you can erase the phone. That's assuming that you have some very, very important or um, very sensitive mm. information on your phone you don't want anyone getting. Now, far from, away from Google's own Android, um, find my phone. If you're using a Samsung phone, you can actually also enable Find My Mobile on your Samsung. But this requires you to have a Samsung account. So if you're using a Samsung phone, you go on your Samsung um, settings, you go to Sam Find my, my Mobile, and then create an account, and then you enable it. When you enable it, you get more advanced features than the default Find My Android um, setting. So on Samsung, you have the option to ring. Let the phone ring like you do on the mo Android. You can lock the phone. You can track the location. You can erase data. You can even back up your data. And then you can retrieve calls and messages. So assuming the person takes the phone and they make a call with it, you can actually retrieve those logs and then use that to track the phone. You also have the option of unlocking the phone. So let's say you forgot your password and you want to unlock the phone after you found it. You can use the unlock feature over here to unlock it. There's also a feature that says extend battery life. As you could see in the previous screen, my Samsung phone had 11% battery life. Now, using the Find My Samsung, I can actually extend the battery life of this phone to make it easier for me to find. So it'll put a phone in maximum power saving while I try to track the phone. Now, the advantage of using the Samsung Find uh, feature over the default Android feature if you're using a Samsung phone is that even when the phone is turned off, it reports your last known location. Unlike the Android one, which, well, if you haven't enabled location history, it doesn't tell you your last location. Mm. So if you do want to be able to tell your last location, you have to enable location history. And yeah, that could come with some quirks, but yeah, it's a feature that you can deal with. And away from that, so you'll see over here that you can also set guardians. Now, setting guardians means that in case you lose your phone and you don't have any other way of tracking it, you can add specific people in your Samsung account who can help you track the phone. So when I set my guardians to, let's say, my significant other or my, my parents, they can track the phone. Now, advice, don't be using this feature to track on someone. It's against the law, just so you know. Now, if you're using an iPhone, you've probably heard about the iCloud account. Now, with this same iCloud account, you can use it to track your phone. When you log into your iCloud account by going to iCloud.com, there's a tab, there's an icon over here that says Find iPhone. And when I touch Find iPhone, it loads the same feature like you have on Find My Device and Find My Mobile, which gives you a map and then gives you the actual location of the phone. So as you can see, it's going to ask me for my password. I'm not going to type it on air, but <laughs> you cast the drift. It also gives you the same features that you would get on the Android and the Samsung. Away from that, there's also another app. Maybe you're not using a default Android or a Samsung phone, and you want to also have tracking on your phone. There's a software called Prey, P-R-E-Y. You can install it on an Android or an iPhone, 
and it also helps you to track it. So as you can see, I have it installed on my Samsung phone and it is tracking it Ooh. right now. So with Prey, you can do all the same things as you can do on the other phones. It also tracks the location of your phone. You can let it ring and you can do stuff like wipe the phone and all that. So if you set the device to missing, it actually sends your loca the location of the phone and accuracy and you can see previous locations of where the phone has been. So the last location my phone was recorded on was on Tuesday, 3rd March, 2020. And you have a calendar here that allows you to go through wow. the history of everywhere that the phone has been. Now, because Prey is not a default application, it's actually a paid application, if you want all the extra features, you will have to pay. Now, if you want to add multiple devices, you have to pay. I'm currently using the free version, which is allows me only one device to track. If I pay for $5 a month, I can add up to three devices and I can get extra mm. features. Mm. So if you're using Prey on an Apple device too, you can get push notifications that tells you where your devices are. Now, if you're a parent and you have kids that you'd like to track their locations, Prey is a very good solution, but you'd have to pay once again. And it gives you all the updates of what <clears> is being done on the phone, wherever it is. You can also manage the device when it's off and when it's on. Wow. Wow. That's great information. For us ladies who like leaving our phones and cars and people's home and restaurants, this is the best we could get from Tech Talk. Thank you, Spiky, for such a wonderful one. I've been trying them on my phone. I'll keep trying the rest of the day. Great. Well, this is all that we have for you on Joy News Interactive today. I hope you have a great day. Wherever you are, please, wherever you're driving, be mindful of other road users. Put on your seatbelts and be kind to one another. For more information, just log on to www.myjoyonline.com for more information. My name is Najele Doku, and I'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy your day. And hashtag Arrive Alive.